Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. My question for Langflow is how can I use Langflow to learn about Langflow? Better yet, how can I use Langflow to help me write new, uh, new agents or to write or create new chains or to write or create new loaders? embeddings, etc. So how can I get Langflow to become aware of Langflow? <clears throat> so let's start with a, uh, a new flow. We're going to go with an example. And we're going to start with vector store. Because uh, there's nothing here about Langflow, learning Langflow. So we're going to go with vector store. And there it is. Now, What's nice about uh, Langflow is that it tells you that there's a problem somewhere with these red dots saying we need something. Uh, so when we scan through, we need an API key, which I already have in memory. <clears throat> and you can see it goes green there. Uh, and it's green there and vector store. I need to name it. So we're going to say Langflow self where I know that's Keep the uh, name good. It's still not red. It's still not uh, green, but that's okay. We're not going to worry about it too much. And we'll go with uh, open a API key right there. I don't know what the open API base is, so that's going to be one of my first questions for Langflow site when I web base load. I'm going to ask, what is the open API base? What does that mean? What is the open API base? All right. So uh, you can see uh, here are some of the questions I'm trying to tackle right here. Uh, goal, playing flow teaches me how to use playing flow. Now, of course, that would be uh, true for any uh, application, software, or API, how to use these language chains to help me and others learn about a new tool. So I've got green everywhere. I've got green everywhere. The only thing I don't have green is the loader uh, to load web pages. So. <clears throat> Uh, let's take a look at Langflow. So here is the web page. Uh, da, 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 da. Design with React Flow, blah, blah, blah. Deploy Langflow, Langflow, Langflow. API usage. Directly on your da, 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 da. Interact with server. Creating flows. Okay, so let's try Langchain components. Okay, here is my URL, control C, go to Langflow. I'm gonna pop this in here. And that should go green, it does. We're green across the board. And except for here, invalid URL, perhaps you meant HTTPS. Uh, okay, so it doesn't like the vector store. Uh, let's remove that. It's required. Um, let's see if it's if it's going to work. Uh, let's specifically get a, a question here. Okay, Harrison Chase, who wrote the documents? Let's um, let's see if he's the Har Okay, Harrison Chase. Uh, all right, so let's use that Harrison Chase. Who who is Harrison Chase? Enter. Okay, vector store name is missing, is missing name, is missing description. So type something, something. 
and description something else Finish editing okay so now it's all green let's try again and who is Harrison Chase Okay, I can see. Okay, interesting. Author and copyright holder of Langchain0198, which is obviously ironic because Langchain is now in, actually doesn't, ah. Okay, that is correct because the documentation apparently hasn't been updated. Uh, okay, so it hasn't been updated since June, no, May 15th. Um, okay, and there's lots of Lang Chain. Lots of Langchain tutorials. Okay, so um, uh, let's do a uh, let's look for anything about Baby AGI. Now, here is the URL down here. You can see it's a it's a URL to YouTube. <clears throat> let's go back and just do a quick test. Where can I find information about baby AGI? I'm not using capital letters uh, on purpose. Uh, yeah. Enter. And you're wondering, of course, what kind of machine I'm running on here. And you'll see I'm on Visual, I'm using Visual Studio Code in the background. Uh, performance, let's take a look, see if this loads in time. Okay, so uh, the GPU is, uh, I'm running on the Intel, but for whatever reason, uh, it's CUDA is not, activated so it's not pulling in my other GPU which is the Nvidia Quadro which is a bummer which is a major bummer uh, because obviously that's going to impact the speed okay um, this is bad because the it goes out and and finds baby AGI from Microsoft, but not from Langchain. In fact, it's not, it's not using the web path that I provided as part of its output. In fact, this should be the URL to the YouTube video, which is either this one or this one. Now, <clears throat> uh, let's modify that question. I want uh, to know about Lang chain and and baby API. Uh, use only Lang chain specific. information. I'm making this up, but I'm trying to be specific without boring everyone. So I don't know about Langchain. Now it doesn't tell me, uh, Langchain doesn't tell me what it's thinking here. It doesn't say that it's going to the web page to look to see what's going on. Uh, yeah, 
this. That's not correct either, or not super correct. So maybe there's something with my max tokens. Let's increase the max tokens and more. Okay, max stack at DaVinci, that's fine. Let's bump this up to a thousand and see if that helps. All right, so uh, let's try again. Give me YouTube, YouTube videos about uh, Uh, Langflow and baby AGI. Try again. Huh. Okay, uh, you saw the error over there. I didn't catch it. And now that is my next question. Let's take a look at the errors. I've got the I've got the console running here in the back. Uh, okay, I got a telemetry F error. Okay. Text splitter warnings. So it looks like one of the text splitters right here, text splitter spy created a chunk of 8992. Huh, huh, huh. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. I've got to dig into new problems. Thanks for watching and uh, happy computing. <laughs>